So in this problem, we are provided with a quadratic equation and we have to find out the harmonic mean of the root. Since it's a quadratic equation, so we are going to have two roots and we have to find out the harmonic mean of those two roots. So let's try to understand the problem first. So let's say we have a quadratic equation, right, the general equation given by ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Then the sum of roots we can easily find out the sum of roots that that's given by we'll have to take the coefficient of x and divide it by the coefficient of x squared and we'll have to take the negative value so this is defined as the sum of the roots so that's the ratio of b over a with a negative sign then we can also find out the product of roots so the product of roots will be coefficient of the constant term or it's simply the constant term that's c divided by the coefficient of x squared so c over a is going to be the product of root now in our case we have the quadratic equation five uh, let's write down the equation we have five plus square root of two times x squared so this is the a value so it's the coefficient of x squared then we have negative four plus square root of five times x so this is going to be the coefficient of x that's a negative of 4 plus square root of 5 and then we have the constant term so that's 8 plus 2 times square root of 5 so it's given here that this is equals to 0 so we'll suppose that this particular quadratic equation has two roots and those two roots are alpha and beta so let alpha and beta be the two roots of the quadratic equation then we can define the sum of roots so alpha plus beta will be equals to all we have to do is take the negative and then the ratio of the coefficient of x so that's negative of 4 plus square root of 5 divided by the coefficient of x squared so that's going to be 5 plus square root of 2 which means we have 4 plus square root of 5 divided by 5 plus square root of 2 fine okay then we have the product of the roots so alpha times beta will be simply all we have to do is take the co constant term so that's 8 plus 2 times square root of 5 and divide it by the coefficient of x squared so that's 5 plus square root of 2 fine our goal will be to find out the uh, if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation our goal will be to find out the harmonic mean of the two roots so we know by definition that the harmonic if okay let's say if h be the harmonic mean between two numbers let's say the two numbers be alpha and beta then the harmonic mean then h is given by the formula two times uh, alpha times beta divided by alpha plus beta so this is how we can define the alpha uh, the harmonic mean so because now we have the value of alpha beta as well as alpha plus beta what we can do we can easily find out the harmonic mean so let's substitute the value so we have two times so alpha times beta so that's going to be eight plus two times square root of five divided by five times square root of uh, five plus square root of two whole divided by alpha plus beta so that's five four plus square root of five divided by five plus square root of two so we have 4 plus square root of 5 divided by 5 plus square root of 2. So here we can factor out 5 plus square root of 2 from the uh, from the numerator and the denominator. And now we are left with 2 times. So let's take 2 as the common factor from 8 plus 2 times square root of 5. So we have 2 times 4 plus square root of 5 whole divided by. Now in the denominator we have 4 plus square root of 5. Now what we can do? We can factor out 4 plus square root of 5 from the numerator and the denominator. And that leaves us with a value 4. So that means the harmonic mean comes out to be four now if we check our options then we have option number c which gives us the value four now that means the harmonic mean of the roots of the given quadratic equation that's going to be option c with a value four